Okay, so today I had a call to install one of the Elon Musk Starlink satellite systems. I've done one other besides this one, and so I'm kind of looking forward to it. There shouldn't be a whole lot to it, because really all I'm going to be doing is installing the antenna on top of a mast, or rather, fastening the mast to the roof and finding a way to route the wire. Now, this woman waited, I think she said six months to get this satellite, so I guess they're not that readily available just yet. But uh, it does take a while to get them at this point. So anyway, it should be interesting. Uh, I'm going to go out there and uh, see what I can do for her. Got my GPS set up here, so it's telling me which way to go. Turn left on Southeast Voorhees Avenue, then take the first left. Turn left on Southeast 7th Street. So, getting kind of an early start today to try to beat the sunshine. Okay, we don't have to go too far up the driveway this time. That's good. Anyway, yeah, it's been a hot one here. And uh, once you get up there on the roof, it can get really hot. I don't know why it is. Some days it doesn't bother me. So other days I can barely function when it's uh, too hot. So, well, I guess we're going to be putting a dish up there somewhere. I'll have to figure this out. So the uh, tripod that comes with this satellite dish, it mounts up with these little holes here. You just push these spring-loaded buttons in here, and it pops right in there. But they didn't get the in install kit that comes with it, so we had to drill a hole in a mast here. We're just going to put this up on the roof. And what's amazing about this satellite dish here is that it rotates and finds the satellites it needs on its own. It'll not only tilt, but it'll also rotate 360 degrees, so it doesn't really matter what angle I have it as. Of course, I'm going to put this mount it vertically, so this is straight up here, but it'll find its own uh, satellites there. It's got kind of a wide thing that has to go on the end there. So, not a big deal. We'll just have to patch it after we drill the hole. But they give you about 100 feet of cable here, and uh, it's just a matter of finding the right spot now to put it up on the roof here. So we don't have the cable looking real ugly. So anyway, uh, you can see we're surrounded by trees here. Now it likes the northern skies, so we want to make sure it has good clear access to the northern skies here. And uh, anyway, I'm going to go up on the roof and see what I can come up with. So whenever I put these mounts up, I always like to find a stud underneath the shingles. And I usually just tap with a hammer or some blunt object. and. Uh, try to find where the studs are. Sometimes I'm not successful and I just end up having to um, drill a couple holes till I find the stud, but it's gonna be a lot more secure if I can find a stud. And uh, anyway, I, I guess we're just gonna lay the wire down the little crevice here and bring it into a room. So you can see our skyline here. It's always surrounded by trees every which direction but uh, she's already getting pretty impressive internet speeds here I think she said she's seen it go up to 1 170 although it tends to change a little bit and uh, well we'll find out we'll find out but I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be just just fine even though we have a lot of trees on the on the edge of the skyline there well that was a fairly easy mount I uh, I noticed this this dish here has a little weight to it, so if you do want to mount one of these things in the manner we're doing here, you definitely want to um, make sure you go into a stud if you can. Usually when I'm looking for a stud, I just tap the roof a bunch of times until I, I can kind of tell where the stud is. Most of the time, I don't always get it right, but when I can't do that, I'll just drill a few holes and then I'll... Uh, I'll, I can tell when I've hit a stud when you're drilling. Then, of course, you got to patch it up. Now, I used a little bit of silicone to put in the holes, but I, use, I also use this stuff here called uh, pitch putty. I think that's what they call it. I, I got it, got this stuff here a long time ago from MCM Electronics when they were still in business. It's like this rubberized stuff here. 
and you just put it underneath here. Kind of seals it. I add some silicone too. Anyway, I think we're good. So I'm going to go inside now and see what the speed looks like. So I guess they're about to plug this thing in and see what kind of speed they get. It should be interesting to see this thing rotate here when they do plug it in. And uh, I was a little nervous about running the cable down the roof like this. I thought it might look real bad, but that doesn't look too bad. The cable's almost the same color as the shingles. Anyway, well, I'm kind of waiting to see this thing rotate here. I know it's got to reorient itself. There we go. Look at that thing. Amazing. Huh. Does that all on its own. All I had to do is install the mast and it does all the figuring out itself. And I guess it likes where it's pointing. And it is pointing toward the northern skies as uh, it, it tends to like around here. I guess that's where a majority of the satellites are that it's picking up. But there we have it. It just adjusted itself. It's ready to go. And uh, I'm just going to stabilize that wire a little bit so it doesn't get tugged on. And Got a little wire tie holding it up here, but uh, I think I'll go ahead and put a little something stronger on there to hold it in place. That should do it. So we're just testing out the speed here. It says blazing fast. And so it does, it, it does appear to be a little more stable than it was before. Yeah, what you can tell. Definitely. So, I so. so at first we started out having the uh, satellite on the tripod and, and it was just, you know, surrounded by a lot of trees and the, uh, the house and whatnot. So having it up on the roof, it appears to be more stable now. And so, yeah, 138.8, uh, blazing fast. There you have it. Starlink satellite system. So there's the finished product. Everything good to go. I was going to say, if you happen to install one of these things, you can use the same wire hangers that you use for standard TV coax. So uh, if you've been doing TV antennas, you're pretty much going to have most of what you need to do this sort of thing. And uh, anyway, there we have it. Satellite installed. That's not too bad of an eyesore. I don't think anybody would have any problem with that. Of course, you don't have to worry about it out here, but... Uh, Certain areas are kind of finicky about having antennas on the roof. Well, that wasn't too bad. I think it took me maybe just a little bit over three hours. Of course, I might have taken a little extra time because I was making a video, but uh, I didn't make my customer pay for that. Anyway, it's early still. It's only 11.23, so I guess I'll get back to the shop and see what else I got waiting for me. Let's see, we've got one of these automatic gates here. Glad to see it's going to open up for me. All right. Now, to figure out how to get back home. I always, I always lose track of which way I turned. I think, uh, I think I'm going downhill. Anyway, I have to admit, I love these jobs out on the outskirts. Um, they're a lot of fun. Well, I guess I'll end the video. As always, I hope you like the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.